Disclaimer, this is not a how to animate tutorial, but how to use 3D models as reference for your animation. It's very simple to use 3D models as reference for animation, and here's how. First, open a new file. Next, set up your dimensions for the animation file. I already have mine presets, 1920 by 1080. Now open up Clip Studio Paint's Assets Materials. There are plenty of 3D poses to download from, but for the purpose of this video, I'll be using the default pose CSP gives you. Simply drag and drop it onto your canvas, and in the Layers menu, rename that layer to 1. Then delete the other layer. And now it's there. Once it's there, you'll notice a tool belt that appears with it. These tools are important. This one moves the camera over, under, and around the model. This will change the position of the camera. This will zoom the camera in and out. This will move the position of the object on the canvas. This moves the object over, under, and around on the canvas. This will rotate the object on the canvas. This moves the grid over, under, and around the object. This will position the object on the grid for perspective. Next comes changing the pose. To do that, click anywhere on the model. You'll notice blue dots that appear. These dots control a limb on the model. When you're first starting out, it's good to play around with these controls. Just to get an idea of what dot controls which limb. When you click on a dot, you'll notice these lines that appear around it. These lines will rotate that limb. Good to play around with those as well. Control Z something if you don't like what you just did. Next, click here to bring up the model's menu. I should have done this first, but in the body shape menu, you can adjust the model's body shape. The character I'm animating has a child's body. So I'm adjusting her to be small with a slightly large head. Next, in the light source page, You can rotate the light on the sphere to move the light on the model. This can be very useful during the shading process in animation, although this can also be very circumstantial. In under the page pose, you can change the hand shape. A straight, open hand, an open wide hand, or have your model make a fist. There are plenty more to go through, but the ones I've mentioned so far are the ones you'll be using the most. When you're satisfied with the first frame, add your next frame. CSP will automatically take the model from the previous frame and apply it to this one. Simply repeat this process for your animation, and be sure to make use of the onion skin option. When you're done putting down the model for reference, add a new animation folder, and then add your animation cell. A tip when I to make drawing over references easier, I always apply layer color and change the opacity to that reference. Now go back to your other animation folder and draw over that reference. A perk when using 3D models as reference is if you need to change the pose in any frame at any given time, it will be easy to do that without making too much of a fuss. Now you know how to use models in animation. And here are the results.